All right. Actually, um, hi, everybody. I'm Shane. <laughs> Again. Uh, so this is a project I did last year, but uh, we didn't get any takers on it. Um, I actually pitched like eight projects, so I'm not surprised. Uh, but I do think it has a lot of merit, so I'm pitching it again. Uh, this is Boop, basically a big red button for your phone. Uh, it helps you out in situations where you're just not getting the customer service you want, or you aren't, uh, you want to report something, or something's just funky and you need to report it. Um, there's a lot of tools out there that try to try to do this, so I'm going to go over some of the key points that make this somewhat different. Oh, there's a huge mouse for Chile. Here I got this. Uh, so basically, uh, use current mobile phone uh, location, uh, correlate that location with like factual or Google places, any of the online uh, places where you can get up up to date place information on things, and then hopefully bring that over to uh, a relational system where it says, okay, well, if you do report something here, this is the kind of place it is. Um, so that way you guys have quick options about what you guys want to choose when you're reporting something, like at a grocery store, that would be different from if you're at the dog park. Um, and uh, potentially, well, well, the, the whole thing relies on basically getting some sort of contact detail for somebody who would be ultimately responsible for that location. Um, so basically, uh, using the common ID that Factual gives, which is a great place to get authoritative information on places, um, and then as well as uh, potentially going out there and scanning public calendars and then seeing, hey, okay, there's something going on here, there's something happening, like uh, the port potty just got knocked over or something like that, you should probably tell somebody, uh, but you don't actually know who to tell. <laughs> so, um, so the way the reason this is a little different is it's short-lived reporting. There's a lot of other projects out there that are just like, okay, I have a problem, it's right here, um, I'm going to wait for somebody to fix it. This is more like fire and forget. I don't care anymore. Uh, if you follow up on it, that's fine. But the whole reason for this is just short-term stuff. Um, allow for anonymous but direct and simple communication between reporters and the facilitators. Um, so if you want to rename anonymous, then that's fine. Do what you got to do. Um, and then also broadcast out issues to other people. Like, do not go into the... Uh, third stall <laughs> at this location. Just don't do it. Uh, so that sort of thing. Um, and then uh, also like a, a little bit with the trail maintenance kind of stuff as well. Um, if you can attempt, if it can attempt to correlate things off to kind of a geographic feature, um, then somebody who's biking or something can report just an obvious problem real quick. Like there's two moose laying down in the middle of the trail. That doesn't really need to go on some websites where there's an actual problem that the meeting needs to come and fix or anything, but it does need to be kind of a short-term thing so that people using the product can actually get notified of it, um, or potentially even not using it. That would be cool too. Uh, uh, so like at the grocery stores, uh, automated email with open tracking. Uh, basically, when when the, the app itself will know when the manager actually checked the email and attempt to uh, assign, assign a value to that to say, hey, this is an actual responsible person that opens their email. And um, if it needs to be followed up on, volunteers in the area can actually follow up on stuff and be like, okay, well, this guy at Freddy's never checks his email, or we obviously have the wrong email. Um, uh, public or direct source contact information for these locations, especially mom and pop places, uh, that would be really handy to have. Uh, and then kind of a simple opt-out procedure for anyone. And this is kind of a recurring theme here as, uh, as different places happen. But if you can figure out contact notification or contact information for a certain area, it'd be good to actually have some sort of crowdsourcing to bring that in. Um, so, yeah, common uh, cleanups, uh, long lines, you need to add some checkers, can't find an item. And then something else that uh, came up recently, uh, requesting an item. Uh, this is personal. Something I really love disappeared off the shelves, but the thing that I really hate, which is its evil twin, is still there. Um, and I don't know who eats that, but they, I want the other thing back, that kind of issue. Um, if you can just zap the UPC on, on the evil twin and be like, okay, actually, you know what? You guys did your data wrong. Everyone likes this one. That's why it's constantly out of stock. Um, then that would be good information to actually send it to somebody. Uh, restaurants, um, just that's obvious. Bill, please. <laughs> Uh, requesting food service or maybe a, a problem with your food and you're not actually getting any wait staff attendance. Um, the difference here is, is this something that would actually be able to move out to a wait staff? Everyone has a mobile phone. So maybe it's something like, oh, okay, well, I'm responsible for that table. They said they're right here. It's not going to be all the way to take care of it. 
No, that way it never has to go to the manager. Because <laughs> I don't want to get people in trouble. That would be weird. Um, and then for events, uh, kind of just email or SMS the event facilitators because they're going to be running around. If they can actually make that stuff public somehow, it would be cool to be able to grab that information. Uh, so like at the hackathon here, if the beer was warm, um, I would get that SMS. Actually, Alicia uh, would get forwarded that SMS. <coughs> And then uh, what time is certain things is kind of a common issue that might come up. Uh, feedback on the event, which is actually really important. Event managers have a really hard time getting feedback, especially with large events. Um, just making it really easy, boop, you know, and just have some little thing that says, hey, we use boop, no big deal. Um, and then uh, also to get requests of slides for a certain, you know, event that you just saw, uh, being able to contact that person afterwards, getting all that stuff out of the way real quick, and that ties up so much people's time. Like, oh, people rush the stage hoping to get a business card. We have the internet. Let's use it. So um, what I'm hoping for the hackathon is kind of a HTML, JavaScript, mobile application that works well in a mobile browser. Uh, just use the default window navigator stuff. Uh, allow for a generic location report, kind of like with the trail information. Uh, and potentially use factual data to list nearby locations and make a report against one. And then on the server side, that's the area I like to live in a lot, um, attempt to handle authentication for it. Uh, TTL record collection, which is, you know, we have all this stuff going out. It's going into a database. Let's get rid of it eventually. There's some automated ways to do that. Um, and then uh, web sockets or constant polling, whatever works. So it's a really simple-ish. So if anyone needs to contact me, here's my phone.